So let's do 10.5, number 25. And we should be now panicking because there are, because there's a fraction on the bottom and a fraction in the exponent. These are not so undoable though. So what do you think when you see this business? Two numbers cubed inside there already. Oh, yeah, that might be a good thing to notice. Why would you be looking for things cubed? Yeah, you guys see this? So when I see this three on the bottom here, what I'm thinking is there's a cube root happening in here someplace, right? So if I'm looking and I'm seeing a cube root someplace, then I should be looking for things that are something cubed, right? Mm -hmm. So one way I could do this is I could say, all right, this whole business is Yeah, you might think this is 2 cubed over 5 cubed. Or you might think about it as two fifths cubed, right? Those amount to the same thing. Okay, so oh, actually, I probably better think about it as two fifths cubed. You see how that would help? If I thought about this as two fifths cubed to the two thirds, then what could I do? Yeah, then I could multiply the powers, right? Yeah. And cancel the threes. So those two threes there really represent a onesie. It's weird, right? Because the onesie's in the exponent. So I'd get two fifths. Squared. Squared. Don't assume you're doing the wrong thing yet. There are other ways to do this that are all fine. So what's 2 fifths squared? 4 25 Okay, so that's the answer. Does anybody see another way to think about this? Do that. What was that? Yeah, you might think instead, okay, this thing's the cube root, right? So I might just say, all right, this is 8 over 125, and I'm looking for a cube root of that, and then I should square, square the rest, right? You guys see that? Why would you do the root first as opposed to squaring it first and then looking for the cube root? Bigger numbers. Yeah, you'd get much bigger numbers, it would be much less convenient. That's really all it is, though, is convenient, right? You guys cool with this? Then my next step in the red would be, what would I do? Why? Yeah, maybe root the top and root the bottom. And, root the bottom. and then that whole thing squared. And then end up in the same place, right? Then you're at the next Yeah, then you'll be up here. You guys cool it? Another option that would be less good, right? And this is actually less good, would be instead of thinking about doing the root first and then squaring, you could square first and then do the rooting. Right? So you could end up instead with, oh wow, well, I'm sort of out of space. But you could end up with 64 over. And this is why you don't do this, right? <laughs> Whatever 125 squared is, business. 15,625? Yeah. Okay. Does anybody know the cube root of that off the top of their head? Mm -hmm. Apparently it's 25. <laughs> right? You guys cool with it? So pick a method. It doesn't have to be the same method I demonstrate on the board. There are a bunch of them, and they all work. So. I don't know if I'm just noticing a convenient pattern to make it easy, but couldn't you also just take the bottom number of the exponent fraction, take that as pretty much what you did, and then just notice that it's two and just go one back? Instead of having 
identifying the two fifths, you can just go two four twenty fifths and call it good. Yes. <laughs> However, most people will never see it that way. If that's the way you see it, more power to you, man. You guys see what he's noticing? No. Not at all? Okay, so he's noticing that two thirds, and this is a, maybe because you think more multiplicatively than most people, but he's noticing that two thirds, right? Okay, this thing's made of three things, right? Twos. Oh. And you need two of them, right? So that will get you the four. Oh, this thing's made of three things, five. Oh. I need two of them, so that'll get me to 25. Oh, wow. Is that roughly where you are? Pretty much. Yes. Yeah. Smart. Yeah, we actually train you. As a child, you think multiplicatively a little bit more like that. And we train you to think additively, and then we try to train you to think multiplicatively again later. It turns out that it would be better if we did a worse job of training addition. You second addition. <laughs> I mean, last time I got two plus two, I got one two, so I was making a joke. Okay. No, I'm just teasing them. Yeah, that's cool. That's an awesome thought process. How about B? At this point, B should be really, really easy. Negative four twenty-fifths? No, but close. Yeah, this is twenty-five over four. Why? Because the first thing I would maybe do is think this is eight one twenty-fifths to the two-thirds to the negative one, right? Mm -hmm. I just did this problem, and then the negative one means what? Flip it over. Cool? Questions, concerns, things? Why flip it? Because that's what that negative exponent does. It kind of flips things up. That's really me thinking kind of a little bit about this rule, right? Okay. X to the negative 1 is 1 over X. Let me replace this. So this piece was 4 twenty fifths, right? Yeah. And I should be taking that to the negative 1 power. So this is... 1 divided by 4 over 25. Right? And then this is really 25 fourths. Yeah? You guys remember that about fractions? You've got a fraction on top divided by a fraction, and you flip this one over and multiply. So I've got 1 over 1 multiplied by 25 over 4. Or you can just remember this thing about, yeah, when there's a negative exponent, it flips the whole thing over. Cool. Be a little careful with that. It only works when it's an honest fraction as it stands. You know what I mean by that? No. no. You have a half plus a third to the negative one. Don't flip over the pieces. You have to flip over the whole thing. You guys see that's different? Yeah. Right? If I flipped over the pieces, I'd get two plus three, right? But really, I should add them together, get five six, and then flip that. Right, six fifths. And you should do what's in the tenth. Yeah, exactly. This is an order of operations thing. This isn't about. This isn't about exponents, right? This is just a. Hey, remember, order of operations has to work. Other things on these? I know.